Hi, I'm Brooke Kiner, Chair of the Spokane Arts Governing Board. On behalf of Spokane Arts, I'm so glad you've joined us to celebrate creativity in our community. During the pandemic, we've all relied on the arts to sustain and comfort us through music, film, books, podcasts, even learning new culinary skills. The importance of culture in our daily lives can't be overstated, which is why we're glad to continue the tradition of the annual Spokane Arts Awards to honor and celebrate artists and creatives who give our lives meaning and fill us with joy. This evening, I have the honor of presenting a very special award, the Karen Mobley Impact Award. This award honors artists and advocates whose impact on our cultural community has been deeply and widely felt over decades. We don't give this award every year. It is a special honor reserved for those whose contributions to arts and culture are significant beyond words. Impact Award honorees are people who've elevated the arts in Spokane, supported and encouraged other artists, and exhibited all the qualities you've heard about tonight thoughtful leadership, collaborative spirit, a commitment to inclusiveness, and a dazzling imagination. It is my deepest honor to celebrate the work and life of a brilliant artist whom we all miss deeply, Kate Vita. Kate's father was a World War II fighter ace who was shot down over the Pacific and floated in a life raft for nine hours before he was miraculously rescued by a, a passing destroyer. Um, he always maintained that everything after that in his life uh, was gravy, uh, you know, a bonus. And for whatever reason, Kate had that exact same sensibility. She loved life with more genuine passion than anyone I've ever known and was sincerely grateful for every moment of it. Kate's husband, Richard, once said that Kate was always trying to weave color into her life. And I love this comment and it strikes me as being so true about Kate's commitment to vibrancy. I think we can often associate color with rainbows and ribbons, cheer and goodwill, um, but I think Kate saw color with much more complexity than that. I think she used it to capture brightness, but I also think she used it to explore gravity and depth and mortality and vulnerability too. What she prized above all else was her relationships connections with the people in her life. And that's what her art was all about, it was about connections with people. She had some unfulfilled desires, uh, one of which was acting. Spokane became a, a, a safe, accepting, supportive environment for her to finally explore those things. She was fearless and she, she didn't want to stay where she was. She always wanted to grow, move forward, be better, try things that she was afraid of. I always used to tease her about going all Sally Fields on anyone who praised the wonderful work that she did. But if she were here now, that's exactly what she would do. In lieu of that, uh, on behalf of myself, our two daughters, Helen and Nevi, and anyone else who truly loved Kate and her work, I'd just like to say thank you. <laughs>